Hey guys, how's it going? This is the very first SCSI hard drive review on Phil's computer lab. The hard drive is from Hitachi and it has a capacity of 73 GB and the platters are spinning with 10,000 RPM. The drive was kindly enough supplied to me by Electromine, an online store selling used computer and electronics parts. In return we got a 20% discount code for you guys. Just type Phil's computer lab at checkout. More details in the description. The drive is from the Ultrastar 10K300 series and in 2004 when it launched it made big headlines as it was the world's first 300GB enterprise hard drive. Looking at the datasheet there are three models with 73, 147 and 300GB. The model we're looking at is the smallest one with 73GB. It's got a rotation speed of 10,000 RPM, there's an 8MB buffer, it's got an Ultra 320 SCSI interface and it uses two platters and three read-write heads. Looking at the datasheet, the claimed performance is an access time of 7.29 milliseconds and a data transfer rate between 47 and 90 megabytes per second. Electromine also sent me a SCSI controller, cables and an adapter. The controller is the Adaptec 7890AB and everything worked straight away. The controller has its own BIOS and there's a message when you turn on the computer. The controller was also detected by Windows XP and the drivers installed automatically. I was quite surprised to be honest and I expected this to be a little bit more complicated. Time for some audio recordings. Enjoy listening to this drive spinning up to 10,000 RPM, seeking, copying some files and spinning down. In Crystal Disk Mark we're seeing around 71 and 43 megabytes per second of transfer rates for reading and writing. HD Tech measured an access time of 7.3 milliseconds and we can see a transfer rate of 70 megabytes per second on the outside of the disk which slows down to 60 megabytes per second as you fill the disk and get to the inside. Roadkill's disk speed measures an access time of 7.29 milliseconds and a maximum transfer rate of around 68 megabytes per second. In the ATTO disk benchmark, we are also seeing transfer rates of up to 69 megabytes per second. Excellent performance with small files, but the right results are lagging behind a little bit. All in all, the claimed specifications check out fine for the access time, but transfer rate was a little bit below what's in the data sheets. Now this might be because of the PCI controller and the PCI interface, but I'm not entirely sure. If you have some thoughts about this, please share them down below in the comment section. And let's have a look at the diagnostic software. Hitachi Drive Fitness is the name and once again I'm using the Ultimate Boot City. It automatically finds the SCSI controller and the drive and it shows up just fine in the program. You have options to run quick and advanced tests to check out if your drive has any errors. You can also erase the disk and display the drive information. So let's summarize this Hitachi Ultrastar 10K300 drive. This is the fastest platter based drive I've tested so far. Especially the access time of 7.3 milliseconds stands out and with a transfer rate of around 70 megabytes per second this is one fast hard drive. Because of the small 73 gigabyte capacity this drive can be used in a range of projects. Windows 95, 98, Millennium 2000 or Windows XP projects should all work really well with this drive. It will likely work in DOS as well, but do keep in mind that the SCSI controller will take up resources such as an interrupt or DMA and the driver might take up some memory as well. All in all, this is an extremely fast hard drive with a retro friendly capacity. And that's it for this video. Big thank you to Electromine for sending us the drive and the controller. Do check out their website. They actually sell a ton of hard drives, ID and SCSI and also enterprise gear like SCSI controllers. 
Now this is my very first SCSI Enterprise hard drive that I've tested and I don't know too much about SCSI but if you do and you've got some tips and comments leave them down below in the comment section especially whether or not the PCI controller is holding things back or if I should get something else to really show what these hard drives can do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another video.